Okay, sorry about that, Pisces. I had to get a phone call. So what I'm seeing is that um, we are we're in a position where we're being very um, very frank and direct about um, about our boundaries as well as what our gifts have to offer. And I'm seeing spirit watching over our progress, the um, the progress that we've made, and I'm seeing that we're now at a point where I think that we've really mastered using our throat chakra as well as um, getting in touch with our gifts, with our abilities, with our senses. And I'm getting that we have a really clear picture that um, that we have as far as what we can do, what we have to offer. Maybe also feeling very in touch with our North Node as well. And I'm seeing that now the next step is manifesting a partnership coming in for us. And I'm seeing that that's what we're in the midst of doing right now. And I'm getting that um, our gifts are also going to be helpful for us i'm hearing like the crux of calling it in so um i'm getting that that us uh, stepping into our north node is also going to be very helpful because i'm getting that once we have that accomplished where we feel like we're doing what we're meant to be doing i'm seeing that there's a partnership on the way for us pisces and i'm seeing too that the reason it was guided this way is because if we were doing so many things at once where it's like trying to figure out what you want to be doing and um, also trying to like really harness your skills and your gifts, if there was a relationship on top of that, I'm seeing that things are kind of happening at this steady pace where it's like this thing happens and then you accomplish this and then the next thing happens and you accomplish it. I just saw 144 on the time. It's like we're taking these steps to get where we need to be while building a very solid foundation. And as long as we're being um, as long as we're in alignment with what we're guided to do um, that we're just going to in increments be following the steps and everything is really just laying um, let being laid out and um, going along with whatever divine timing and planning that spirit and our guides have for us and as I said before we are calling now in a partnership this can be a divine masculine. I'm seeing this falling under spirit. The Hierophant, which speaks on contracts. This can be a soul contract. I'm getting that strongly. Also in us stepping into our power, I'm hearing also stepping into our place as well. That we've really matured. We've really grown. We've learned to, um, to release the things that we were being guided to release. So now we can step into this place where we can find fulfillment, maybe through a relationship. It's like we've accomplished these things, um, on our own. And now we've kind of opened the doors for a dynamic to come in for us. And I'm seeing that, um, we're really looking at the progress that we've made in um, stepping into a place of power. I'm hearing empowerment as well for us, Pisces. And I'm seeing also that we've really learned how to deal with um, with the voice in our head, the one that tells us that we're not good enough or that we can't achieve the things that we want to. I'm getting like deep shadow work that we've been accomplishing Pisces and getting to a place where we now know how to reason with our shadow in a way where we're healing a lot of um a lot of the traumas is what I'm getting that we needed to and um really transcending the disappointment through healing I'm hearing again through shadow work so maybe that's something that we've worked on strongly Pisces And now landing over a harmony of a partnership and the divine masculine. Again, this can be us stepping into our power. The Ten of Pentacles, mirroring, mirroring spirit, mirroring the Hierophant, and falling under the Four of Wands as well. It's like getting in touch with our gifts, with our abilities. I'm hearing our divine path as well. And then we're now walking into this dynamic that we want to move into and I'm seeing that it's really going to um, be something very stable for us I'm hearing the word prolific Pisces I'm so excited for you guys and now I'm looking at the lovers. I'm seeing that spirit is guiding somebody in for you I'm hearing towards you. I'm hearing directly. Okay, so if you were feeling like somebody wasn't coming in, I'm getting like confirmation that somebody is absolutely coming in for us, Pisces, and that this is guided and it looks like a divine partnership to me.
we may have been feeling a bit stressed about this, about this whole process, and I'm seeing that um, Spirit has really guided us to be patient throughout all of this. And I'm seeing too that by us stepping into a place where we're ready to handle the things that come, that we've really, I'm hearing secured progress. So I'm getting like making a lot of progress as far as us at our job, feeling like we can handle things on our own. Um, and it really must be that way, like taking care of our root chakra and whatnot before we can call in anything else into our lives. Um, that's going to be something lasting for us. I'm hearing squaring the root chakra away. And now I'm looking at us moving into a collaboration and I'm seeing that this is also something that manifested for us. Also by us learning how to collaborate with all of the parts of ourselves, even the, I'm hearing the word naysayer with um, the five of swords. It's like the parts of us that, um, that may, if we're having negative self-talk telling us that we can't accomplish the things that we want to, I'm seeing us like really working with our shadow and getting to a place where we're able to, um, to really afford the life that we want to by facing all of the parts of ourselves. I'm hearing by addressing it. So psychological work, shadow work, I'm hearing completed. And this will always be a process. It's never like um, you get to a point where you're completely healed and you have no worries at all. I'm seeing us constantly working with ourselves and progress is not linear and that was one of the best pieces of advice that i've ever gotten progress is not linear you're never going to just get to a point where you're like i have no worries i have nothing that i need to work on everything is fine and i think that there's a sense of peace that we can have in knowing that everything is happening just as it should and we can also at the same time be ready to do our part because it's all about co-creating with spirit you're not going to do all the work. Spirit isn't going to do all the work. Your team isn't going to do all the work. It's always a collaboration that we're doing, okay? And I'm seeing that in the past as well, we may have really been worried about our gifts and our abilities, whether or not we were going to come into harmony or union, also about our money and about our home life, as most people do worry about. And I'm seeing that Spirit is here reassuring you that everything is guided and everything is happening as it's meant to and that you're exactly where you need to be. I'm looking at spirit and I'm looking at someone coming in for us, guided to us that we're connecting with. And I'm seeing that we've had assistance with this. I'm hearing from our team. Okay, Pisces. And now I'm looking at us being in a place where we're ready to start a new venture. And I'm hearing new feelings as well, Pisces. Maybe for whatever this new venture is, maybe this new person that's going to be walking in for us. I keep saying new, so I'm getting that it's somebody new that's coming in for us. And I'm seeing that, um, once again, being reaffirmed, we are constantly working on, um, on our shadow, maybe on some mental health stuff too, like really alchemizing our journey, alchemizing our progress, alchemizing our worries as well, I'm getting. Let's slide this over. <clears throat> I'm hearing also alchemizing the dream as well, Pisces. I'm hearing getting straight to it, Pisces. And now I'm looking at us really seeing um, seeing our new venture and where we're going next from a different point of view and coming out to a place where we feel enlightened. I'm hearing about the journey, Pisces. Enlightened Pisces popping out for us. After really, I'm hearing alchemizing our truth, okay? I'm getting our perspective as well, getting to a place where we're seeing everything as unfolding in divine timing, trusting the process, trusting our guides. I'm hearing also keeping our ears open, so maybe opening our senses to the messages that come in for us. And I'm getting that this was a big change for us. Maybe before we hadn't been open to hearing what the universe wanted to speak to us, but I'm getting that we can hear even the slightest whisper now. That's what's coming through for us, friends. And I'm seeing that um, in us doing the work to alchemize things that we're really bringing true balance and harmony into our lives. And I'm seeing that when um, when the little hermit looks inside his um, looks inside his lantern, that he sees the enlightenment that he has gained. I'm hearing spiritual enlightenment. 
and I'm seeing Pisces head being up above his feet as he's now, um, I'm hearing risen to the top of his game. Pisces. <laughs> And I'm getting to that even though we may have been really stressed about um, all of the tasks that we had to complete, all of the karmic lessons, that um, in really choosing our path and following our guidance, that we're now in a place where creatively we're really in touch. I'm hearing intuitively. Um, I'm also hearing karmically. So maybe looking into things and, um, and really addressing that as well. And I'm seeing that our dreams have changed as well. I'm hearing realizing the dreams. I'm looking at death and I'm seeing the queen of cups below. And I'm, I'm getting that there's really been, I'm hearing a big epiphany moment. Okay. I'm looking at the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck and I'm seeing our guides. There's a celebration that's coming right for us. Pisces is what I'm getting. Okay. I'm hearing the tremendous journey. Because we ended, I'm getting like really healing from the cycles that we had to end before. It's like we, in in gaining the wisdom that we've had from following what we believed, I'm hearing was the righteous path, ending and releasing the things that we knew we needed to release, addressing it, processing it, and healing from it. I'm seeing that we've really found the way to enlightenment. I'm hearing the path to enlightenment, Pisces. And getting that strongly. So maybe like really realizing I'm hearing our destiny. Pisces. And I'm seeing that there's a transformation that we undergo as well regarding the confusion. Maybe before when we weren't ending cycles that we had feelings we were being guided to end. We were kind of surrounded by confusion. And I'm seeing kind of like... In using all of the Ten of Swords to end all of the cycles that we knew were out of alignment, I'm seeing it like really piercing through the confusion that we were kind of surrounded by as well. And I'm getting like recognizing the clear dream. I'm getting like realizing the dream. I'm hearing personal legend. Personal legend. This is like our legacy. Pisces realizing the legacy again with the wheel of fortune on the bottom of the deck realizing our destiny i'm hearing destined work as well and i'm seeing that this is i'm hearing the recipe to addressing the two of swords i'm hearing i know exactly where i'm meant to be where i'm meant to go and that doesn't mean that all times we know exactly where we're going, but I'm getting that by us grounding and connecting with our guides and channeling, doing whatever we do, I'm hearing to feel closer to spirit, that this really guides us through the, the things that we need to face, the things that we feel reticent to take on. And I'm getting that we're now like using the strength that we get from our guides, from us being connected and using that to propel ourselves. I'm hearing into the future, okay, Pisces? So maybe we could have been dwelling on things in the past and now what we're focused on is our reciprocity, our equal give and take. I'm hearing also charitable behavior as well. So we may be giving back at this point, Pisces. And I'm seeing that um, whatever this new venture is that um, we are pursuing, that we're also going to be in a good place financially as well. I'm getting us like holding on to our money when we need to and being responsible as well. And I'm seeing that this stability in our home life is also going to, I'm hearing bring a new element of happiness to us. I'm looking at the Ten of Cups over top of the um, Queen of Coins. And now I'm looking at the Wheel of Fortune turning in our favor because we've decided to face the decisions that need to be faced. I'm hearing making the choices that need to be made as well. It's like not shying away, not running away anymore. I'm getting like really using our strength and our guidance to be brave at this point, Pisces. I'm hearing to be honest with ourselves as well, okay? And I'm getting too that we have ended the juggling. I'm getting that this was also something that we were resistant to doing. Maybe feeling fearful as well of realizing our dreams and being in a place where it's like, 
I don't just want to fantasize about this anymore. I want to step into a place where I'm actually seeing these things actualize in front of me. I'm hearing being brave again, Pisces. I'm hearing it's all about the choices. And now I'm seeing us being recognized, stepping into a place where we feel empowered, where we're observed as being a good leader. I'm hearing good at what we do as well, okay? I'm hearing the word justice. And I'm seeing that now we've gotten to a place, again, like as we've traveled along our journey and realized what we were meant to be doing, I'm hearing actually, so maybe it was a bit of a process to get to this point. I'm getting like a lot of Scorpio shedding of the skin. I just saw 1544 over and over and over again until we get to this place. I'm getting like molting, like feathers. And we now step into a place where we know what our journey um, is leading us into. And now we're ready to maybe incorporate somebody else into that Pisces. I'm hearing the true journey, the honest journey. And now I'm seeing that we've really fed the fish of our intuition, okay? I'm seeing that our intuition has been alongside us this entire time, guiding us through the process. And I'm getting that the crossroads that we had been at before, that the Wheel of Fortune is kind of... I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune like a compass. See, we may have been at a crossroads on our journey. We may have felt like we were at a standstill for a bit. And I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune kind of pointing us where we want to be going. I'm hearing the North Star, okay? I'm getting that Pisces head filled with knowledge and enlightenment is also helping us out as well with our, I'm hearing the directional pull. Interesting. I'm getting like something magnetic and now I'm looking at the magician popping out for us. I'm hearing manifesting clarity and I'm getting that we are really in alignment with what we're meant to be doing. I'm hearing North Star, I'm hearing North Node and I'm seeing that um, there's something that we're walking into. I'm hearing that we're crystal clear about now Pisces. And I'm getting that it was not um, it was not an easy journey to get here. There were things that we needed to leave behind, things that we had a really hard time moving forward from, but I'm getting that whether um, fate, <laughs> fate brought us into those spots or it was us pushing through. I'm hearing like working hand in hand with our guides that we're now getting to a place where um, we're very happy with where we are. And I'm hearing like constantly gaining happiness and enlightenment for the path that we're on. And I'm getting that there may be a really, really huge lesson in all of this that, um, that we have gone through. I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing the world popping out for us, which speaks on Saturn. It speaks on karmic lessons that we came here to learn. And I'm getting that um, we've really accomplished a cycle with the progress that we've made. And now I'm getting that we're really ready to step into some sort of partnership. Okay, Pisces. I think that we're going to end it there. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for being here. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Bye, Pisces.